good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. The weather looks okay outside today. A good day to look for some signs of spring again. I remember this big bag of books that we had from my friends. And I have two today. We recognize this one. Remember this, planting a rainbow? But first, let's just reread this one quickly. This was that book by Dr. Seuss that I had never read before and I got to read with you for the first time. So we'll see the different colors, see what you remember. I remember animals were in the book, a lot of animals and colors and it talked about moods. So that'll tie in with our next book, which is about colors and flowers. The funny thing about this book, there was no title on the first page. No title here either. And then we finally found the title, My Many Colored Days. And it was by Dr. Seuss and there were paintings in it by Stephen Johnson and Lou Fanger. Some days are yellow. Some days are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Then comes a yellow day. And wee! I am a buzzy, busy bee. Gray day, everything is gray. I watched, but nothing moves today. Then all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, Deep, deep in the sea, color, a cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But when my days are happy, pink. It's great to jump and just not think. Then come my black days, mad and loud. I howl, growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day and wham, I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see. And I go back to being me. And that's the end. I really like that book. I love the animals and the colors and the different feelings. You might be having some different feelings today. You might be mixed up. Who knows? Okay. And then planting a rainbow. You guys know how much I enjoy this author and illustrator, Lois Ehlert. She was involved with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, that great story we love. And this is about colors, flowers, all the colors of the rainbow. Let's just take a quick look. Even if you didn't know the title was about planting in a rainbow, you see things that remind you of planting like soil and sprouts. What other things? Oh, this reminds me of a rainbow because of the colors. What else do we see? Oh my goodness, that reminds me of a rainbow as well. 
Okay, let's get ready to read Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ehlert. She's again the author and illustrator. Planting a Rainbow, three words in the title. Can you plant a rainbow? Let's find out. Planting a rainbow. Notice the word rainbow is written in different colors, like the colors of the rainbow. But it's backwards. It usually goes red and orange, purple too. Yeah, it's not exactly in the same order of a rainbow. Interesting. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. I did plant bulbs. And this are, these are the different kinds of bulbs, and these tags represent the different colors that will come up from the kinds of bulbs. They have an orange tiger lily, red tulip, orange tulip, yellow daffodil, blue hyacinth, purple crocus, and purple bearded iris. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. You can plant bulbs or you can plant seeds. Phlox, morning glory, zinnia, aster, cornflower, marigold, daisy. We wait for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. This is happening right now outside. You will see some of these flowers coming up. The ones that are up now are the tulips starting to get the green, daffodils, hyacinths, crocuses. Let's see. That's about it. Those are the ones that are up now. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select seedlings. What's a seedling? It's this. It's kind of like a sprout coming up. This one is going to be a rose, a poppy, a delphinium, a violet, a pansy, a fern, and a carnation. The fern is interesting because it has a green tag. It's not going to have a flower. It's just going to be a green thing, kind of like grass or a tree. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. So these guys are going in the soil in the springtime, where these ones up in the top, the bulbs, went in the soil in the fall. Now that it's spring, it's not a time to plant the bulbs. It's a time to plant the seeds and the seedlings. And here's what they have. The red rose, the purple violet, the red carnations, the blue delphiniums, the orange poppies, the purple pansies, and that cool green fern. We wait and watch the rainbow grow. This will be happening probably around May or June. There they are. They're all growing. Look at those. So beautiful. I would love to have a garden like this right outside of our window of our classroom. That would be pretty. And grow. This will be happening around July. Look at all those colors. We have some red flowers. They've got tulips, carnations, roses. Tulips will be coming up very, very soon. Probably the end of April. And orange flowers, zinnias, tulips again, zinnias, poppies, and tiger lilies. The tulips will be coming up first. And some yellow blooms, daisies, marigolds. Daffodils are up now. All different kinds of daffodils. We grow something green, ferns. Those will be starting probably around June. They love it in the woods as well. If you're ever on a woods walk, you can see some of these ferns. And some blue flowers, morning glories, delphinium. Hyacinths are up now. Cornflowers. These other ones won't be up until the summer, which starts at the end of June. And some purple flowers, too. Crocuses are up right now. Flocks in the summer. Irises are up now or gone. 
violets very soon, probably in May. Asters, those don't come around till the end of summer or fall. And pansies, pansies are coming out now. Good time to plant those. They do okay in the cool weather. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. Look at that beautiful bouquet of flowers. Did you have a color that you liked the best? I really like them all. I couldn't choose just one. One of my favorites are those cool yellow uh, dandelions because they grow all over the place. And I remember picking them this summer with you guys. I wanted to show you, this is what I picked from my yard. I have, these are kind of purple pink. These are azaleas. These guys are uh, hyacinths. Those are purple. And then this is a little itty bitty daffodil that's yellow. So these are the flowers that are coming up right now. So it's a good time to see if you can find any of these around your yard or maybe in a magazine or a newspaper. And which one do you like the best? Miss Kay has an awesome activity on the OT page, if you want to go to that, about how to make your own flower. Maybe you could create one and we could share them. Bye.